In this video, we're going to introduce how we can use the cash flow buttons on the VA2 Plus to help us solve some quadratic formula type of problems. So let's suppose we have two deposits made into an account with a force of interest of delta. We've got $2,000 now and $3,000 for three years. And in six years, we know that the balance in the account is 6458.31. This problem asks us to figure out what delta is. Okay, so we're depositing $2,000 now, and that's going to sit in there for six years. So if we have a force of dis uh, interest of delta, we know it's going to be e to the sixth delta is going to be our accumulation factor. Same thing with a $3,000 deposit. It's just going to be in there for three years rather than six. The totality of the accumulations here has to be 6458.31. So again, using our standard techniques of solving this, we would move the 6458 over to the left-hand side, set it equal to zero, use e to the three delta as our variable, use quadratic formula. We see two roots here. Obviously the negative one doesn't make any sense for us since things are accumulating. So we're going to ignore the negative solution and then we can solve for delta and get 0.06. Pretty standard type of problem. But again, that requires us to type in all of these things into the quadratic formula. So there is another way we can do this on the calculator to help us out where we don't have to type in the quadratic formula with all of those things. Okay, so let's say we go back up to our quadratic equation that we were solving and just substituting in a V for the E to the three delta piece. Now again, strictly as a variable, not thinking that V here is the, not initially thinking of V as the discounting factor piece, literally just a straight substitution as a variable. Then we've got a quadratic equation, of course. But now if we think about it as a discounting factor, we can use the internal uh, rate of return functionality of the calculator to be able to solve for the annual effective interest rate of I that's associated with that particular V. All right, so again, going to our cash flow worksheet, let's clear everything out. We've got an initial, looking at the way the equation is set up here, you've got an initial outlay of 6458.31, make it negative. At time one, we see a $3,000 outlay, or in, uh, inflow, I should say. And then at time two, we've got a $2,000 cash flow. Go over to internal rate of return and hit compute. We get 16.473, and this is an interest rate, so we would divide that by 100 to get the actual interest rate. Notice that Stephen says that it's negative here. All right, so that we can use this to find our value of B. So to do that, let's clear, hit clear. Let's divide this by 100. Let's add 1 and reciprocate it. That gives us the value of V. Now, of course, it's not really a discounting factor here since we, things are increasing, but that makes sense for our purposes. Because again, remember, we use the V, thinking of the V as a discounting factor to use the internal rate of return functionality. But now, remember, we got V by just making a substitution, right? So now we can figure out what V, uh, what delta is by looking at the substitution of V equals E to the three delta. So we can take the natural log and then divide it by three. So we get that 6% and we get the same answer. Again, it saved us some calculation things, right? We didn't have to go through the quadratic formula and type all those things. We literally just had to type in the three pieces for cash flows, if you will, use the internal rate of return functionality, and then use our substitution to solve for what delta is.